Lawrence Shore family lost their three-year-old son to an accident in a family pool. Today, as many spend time around the water, the parents who lost their three-year-old are on a crusade to make a difference in honor of their son. Here now is WDSU news reporter Blake Hansen. The walls of the Phillips home are lined with photos. And it takes seconds. People don't realize that. Everlasting reminders of what can disappear in the flash of an eye. Um. And leave a permanent scar on a father's heart. Smart. Funny. Yeah. Aiden Phillips passed away on June 17, 2011, the day after falling into a pool in Grandpa's backyard. Small kids are really smart and they're, uh, they're curious. They don't have that fear. According to the Centers for Disease Control, children aged 1 to 4 have the highest drowning rates, most deaths occurring in home swimming pools. You go to ball games and you hear families rooting for their kids and all that, and people don't realize that there's families there that don't get that. And sadly, water tragedies happen all the time in southeast Louisiana. Just yesterday, a father had to be taken to a hospital in critical condition after jumping into the water out here at the lakefront trying to save his two children. Two months after Aiden's death, the Phillips had an idea that three years later has snowballed into an institution. So last year, we spent $27,000 on families. The nonprofit Aiden's Foundation of Hope has now helped around 220 grieving families nationwide, providing money for medical bills and funeral expenses and a care package of books and CDs to help parents through the most difficult time. And since we went through what we went through, we know what these families, you know, we, we know how to talk to them, what, what they want to hear, what they don't want to hear, because we've lived it. Last week, 53 boats took to the water for a fishing tournament. Part of a fundraiser that raised around $24,000 for Aiden's foundation to help even more families and make sure Aiden's name lives on forever. I think you'd be proud. You know, and it's cool that we're reaching out to all these families and we're helping them, you know, but it's really nice to know that people are saying his name. In Slidell, Blake Hansen, WDSU News. And the foundation is also offering financial help to parents who can't afford swim lessons. If you'd like to donate to the foundation, we put a link on our website where you can donate online. Just go to WDSU.com.